All right, so let's have a look how we can use this glass morphism effect in a mobile UI. I made this app called Puppylist and it's just a random app where you can see a lot of cool puppies and you can add them to your favorites. So over here we got Figgy which is a Balinese dog and we have him as our favorite but actually we don't want him to be our favorite anymore so if we click on the heart icon we get this nice pop-up, this nice dialogue with the glass morphism effect and then we say yes we don't want him to be our favorite anymore like this. Well, I can make Figgy my favorite again, and then we can have a look again. So if you do an action like deleting something, it's always good to ask another confirmation, to ask double confirmation, because it's quite a destructive action. So we're gonna give our dialogue this glass morphism effect, and this way we can really incorporate it in our mobile UI. We made this colorful UI with a nice mesh gradient. This way the glassy effect will really pop out. To get the best out of the glass morphism effect, the background is really important. You can find a bunch of cool gradients online or via a Figma plugin. So let's start by duplicating this layer and just quickly rename it Glossy Dialog right there. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more. Yes, now we zoom in. All right. So we want to put everything of this in a group and then we're going to rename it to BG and it's going to be the background and we're also going to lock it because this is the background. We're going to put some stuff on top of it and I don't want to mess with this one. So first we're going to add an overlay and the way I do this is actually really simple. I just draw a rectangle, I put it on top and then I just, all right, drag it like this. And we're gonna go and add a black color like this. And yeah, we're gonna set the opacity to like five. And now it seems like nothing has happened that much, but if we're gonna add an effect like this, we're gonna add a background blur. We're gonna set this value to eight. And now we really have a nice overlay over here. I'm also renaming my layer to overlay and I'm also locking it. So this is important to put an overlay like this over your UI. So we really have space to add a glassy dialog. All right, so now let's add the dialog. This also starts really simple. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle. I'm gonna do something like this, All right? We're gonna put it in the middle and we're also giving it a white color. And let's say we give it a border radius of 16. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, just like that. So now it's just a white dialogue and we want to make it glassy. We want to give that glass morphism effect. So we go over here to fill and then we add radial gradient like that. Now this one, we're gonna drag it all the way to the top like this, all right. And the other one, let's scroll a bit. We're gonna drag this one all the way over here. Really nice. And this one, we're gonna give it a 40% opacity. And on the top left, we're gonna give it an 80% opacity. So this is already a first nice step of giving that glassy effect. What we also wanna do now is add a background blur. So we're going to effects, we're gonna add background blur, and we're gonna set it to 24 like this. Now we also want to set the general opacity of this fill to 80%. All right, really nice. And let's also add a subtle drop shadow. We're going to just, yeah, we're going to set the opacity to 10% and then the X to 16, Y to 16 and the blur also to 16 like this. So if you toggle this now, you see it's a really subtle effect, but it will really, really add something more to this design. You see it really pops out from his background. Let's also add a stroke like this. We're gonna give it a white color, two pixels outside. All right, and we're gonna set the opacity to 70%. So if you zoom out, we actually have a quite cool dialogue right now and we really see that glassy effect coming to life, that glass morphism. So now let's add some content to it and we're also gonna apply auto layout to it.
So here we go. We added some content to it. We applied some nice auto layers, so everything is placing really fine. And yeah, if we zoom in, we see we have a really nice glassy effect to it. And if we zoom out like this, here you go. You see it's really popping out. It really has a nice glassy effect. And yeah, it's really something that you can actually use inside of a mobile UI. We've seen a lot of cool videos for glass morphism where they're adding it just as, as like a on a landing page or as a visual or I don't know, like to a credit card. But here we really use it inside the UI of a mobile app. So if we go over to the prototype view, I just connected everything really quick. And if I click this one, we'll see this dialogue popping up. We have this really cool, really popular glassy effect applied to this dialogue. I also published the file to the Figma community and I put a link in the description below. So if you want to play with the effect and want to check out how I did it, just grab the link and duplicate it. Have fun.